What is up, everybody? It is time for a new experience. Uh, despite the fact that this screen is a little underwhelming. I mean, you already Please clicked on the video. Your skill level. Excuse me, lady. I'm trying to do an intro here. I'll just I'll do it over the music. Welcome to the age of the great guilds. I mean, you probably already saw the image for this uh, video series, so it's not entirely a surprise, but at the same time, I don't know. It's a pleasant surprise to me to get to play it. I was kind of hoping that... I mean, you know, rest in peace LucasArts. I do feel like it has to hang on. Yeah! Loom! This is a game from my childhood that I really, really loved. At the same time, uh, I played like the old floppy disk version. There's apparently a CD version that has a bunch of voice acting in it, which I think is the one that's on Steam. So um, this will be fun. It definitely had this uh, theme and some other music stuff, but there wasn't any voice acting. So I'm interested to see where that goes. I have realized though that there's a little bit of jank with it. Like, Rise, son of Signa. It is the dawn of your 17th year. The elders await you in the sanctuary. I've never known them to weave such a bright messenger nymph. I wonder why the elders want to see me. I'd better get down to the village. Here's our protagonist, Bob and Threadbear. F9, just toggle the text on. All right, we have subtitles. Sweet. So this is a standard point-and-click adventure game. The last leaf of autumn. And the only thing I was saying about there's just a little bit of jank um, because there's kind of some weird audio visual stuff. But, uh, excuse me, I'm getting, getting down on this hill. I guess I'll just click over here. Oh, wait, before we do that. Oh, no, now you've already transitioned. This thing's ruined. It's ruined by my very loud mouse. I think, uh, look at the sky. It's dawn. And notice that. It's probably a thing we should remember and pay attention to later, but, uh, right now, we're just gonna go, go to village, because that's what they told me to do. And, uh, I'm going to... This is actually the first game in a while that I've been able to see OBS in its entirety, which does help, because, uh, there's the... It's a new thing for me to um, <laughs> do games like this in parts. Binary Domain, I feel like there were bits or at least some sections that I could kind of like uh, cut off in ways that I'm like, okay, I know the beats for this. And I played this game as a kid. I didn't, I've, I know I've beaten it before, but uh, I probably played the first part a whole lot of times. It's glam. Eh, we can't examine it. Here's these guys. Birds seem to be playing a lovely song, uh, but I'm not sure exactly how we're how we're gonna um, parse this. Thankfully, um, this thing is windowed, and I can see just how long we're playing, and I can kind of break it up through those parts. Otherwise, it'll be you know it'll be an adventure. Also got a handy uh, notepad with me because we will need it. This is an adventure game. It's not quite a Sierra's King Quest thing where we get screwed if we don't save enough. I believe saving is F5 and we can just save. Be like, yeah, new LP. Sweet. I know how to type. But uh, I don't think there's very many, if any, uh, game saves. Don't these people ever clean up after themselves? You seem very nonplussed about just gold lying around. It's also some darkness. Wonderful. I can't see a thing. The only thing that I don't exactly like about uh, the voice acting is that, you know, it's always the, I imagined this to be different. I didn't imagine Bob and Threadbare to be so whiny. He's just kind of a, kind of a prick. It's okay. He's our lovable character more notes this seems suspect i should probably be listening to them but i don't have anything to compare it to so uh we're just gonna have to saunter on 
we need to go to the grand tent temple thing which uh considering it is the only one we have and we haven't gone to the forest yet but i know it's kind of useful this right now seems a bit um suspect <laughs> yeah. eh, you know it's bigger on the inside also got these lovely tapestries there's the long tapestry i don't remember it looking so old and frayed the threads describe the creation of the world and the passing of the two shadows yeah yeah lower building i don't know how this if this thing is casting light through i don't know where that light is coming from because here's more of the tapestry we're in a tent the pattern shows the entire history of the weavers back to the founding of the great guilds so uh considering the game is called loom i assume that the weaving is kind of a big deal um in this game i love this nice little you know it's wonderful the last section tells about the decline of the guilds lower building there's a third shadow gathering that's strange the end is completely torn off this seems ominous we're gonna get in a little bit of what i was kind of talking about with jank involving this i don't know if it's an there's emulation actual. thing and the elders don't look at all pleased with her. Sometimes the subtitles uh, and the, the audio aren't quite together. Do anything to say in your own defense? My elders, my actions speak for themselves. This reckless defiance is intolerable. Any secret you share with Signa's son might be turned against us. His talent is awakening and the power is very strong in him. We dare not desert him now. A stubborn old fool! Who are you to decide such things? Enough, Lachesis. Petrel, I am grieved to see your many years of service end in such disgrace. My destiny is yours to weave. Petrel, the fabric of your life has been woven by your own choices. Gaze once more upon the great loom. If you would know your ultimate destiny, for that destiny is now upon you. A oh. swan's egg. What does it mean? Something is deeply wrong. That draft has never failed before. You know, we have a door. What is that noise? Outside, the guild is under attack. Who dares to desecrate the great loom of the weavers? This is the work of that demon boy. We should kill him while we still can. Your name will be cursed forever, son of Signa, loom child, bobbin, thread. My name? I, I, you, but I kind of left before I could this. hear the rest of it. Wait, where are you going? No explanations, no goodbyes, and once again I'm left behind. But we do have this handy staff over here. It's heavier than it looks. Hey, suddenly we have this thing. This is our main crux of the game. Instead of having, like in, say, Monkey Island, another LucasArts game that's fantastic, uh, you have a bunch of actions to do pick up items do this we have our staff which we can weave with and uh learn things to do let's look at this egg C -E -D. the egg it's trying to open sometimes the audio cuts out and stuff but nonetheless so that was e c e d and you can also use the keyboard, but sometimes it's a little, like, sticky about it. Or you just have to be patient. <laughs> and I'm not patient. There's my boy. What's happening? The whole village has flown away without us. From the moment you came into this world, Bobbin, great and terrible things have been happening. The elders hoped that your birth was the cause of it. Why? Would the elders want to get rid of me? Excuse me? I'm such an awful weaver that they never even let me study with the others. They fear you, Bobbin. 
When the swan arrived, they were already trying to weave the same draft on you that they had worked on me. But the draft turned against them. It means only one thing, that the pattern is failing of its own accord. No. Can't it be stopped? Stop chaos? The only thing to do is embrace it and turn ourselves into creatures of shadow or plan our escape. Okay, now you're sounding really villainy. To where? I don't know. But if we are to survive, we must find out where that flock has flown and join them if we can. You've already found Atropos' distaff. Good. You won't be able to weave very much with it at first. But as you practice, its true power will be revealed to you. It's time to leave this island, Loom Child. Your destiny lies beyond the sunset, across the sea. Mother Hetchel, where are you going? Goodbye, Bobbin. I must follow the oh. swan. He also... Well, this is a fine mess. Everybody's gone and I still don't understand what's going on. Why did they keep calling me Loom Child? Nobody's ever let me anywhere near a loom. Even though we're standing right next to one. That is probably the first time we've been in the big cathedral area. There's nothing here. What do you have? Anything? No? Alright. Wait. High C. Interesting. F. G. Low C. Those are the same four threads spun by the elders. Interesting. It's still echoing in the loom. We can't really do anything with it because we can't do that, but I should write it down just in case. Because uh, this game came with a like notepad and pen kind of deal back in the day. Because the fun part is that. And um, you may remember at the start there were different menus. I don't know what practice is, but um, the expert mode doesn't have any of this stuff you have to just basically rely on ear and that would be fun uh to do because i think you get a special little easter egg if you complete it that way at the same time for the channel <laughs> I, i'd rather not get stuck forever we might already get stuck on like puzzles and stuff that i don't remember so we should just you know keep the pace standard let's play strategy and now Let's go visit some rooms, or rather, um, excuse me, what are you, what are you doing here? Strange graphical glitch. <laughs> why did you not, why did, you didn't appear when I was testing this game for recording and now you're just like, oh, hi, I'm here. Check out this room again. Look at this stuff. Grass green. I hate that color. I sure do hate the cutting audio. I don't understand. It's like sometimes it sounds like it's on multiple channels and then sometimes it says it's on like one. I I don't know. It's still dripping. What a mess. How dare it. Oh look. G F F E. I can only assume we are looking at this. I'm just going to put down green. That seems fair. This wall hasn't been dyed yet. The fun thing, and I, I don't know, I'm probably getting ahead of myself here, is that a lot, most of these um, ones that you already saw are asymmetrical, I suppose. The, uh, is there a word for not palindromy? Because if we do them backwards, they might procure different results. Hey, let's look at these guys again. Hello, birds. I guess I don't have to choose this one, but E, C, E, D. Hey, that's the same thing we used to open our uh, egg. Maybe if we were to just ah, uh, that's the sound of progress. We did a thing. Now it's clam. Ugh. Wonderful. And I can't remember if that actually has any real significance except to go, hey, 
you can open it. But still, that's cool. Go over here and the scary forest. I always used to click right here and then be confused while I'm just stuck. You have to go all the way. There's an owl. There's an owl in there. See? Here's another hole. With another owl. CD. Another owl. Hmm. Sometimes they're... I, I think they're supposed to be randomized to a certain degree. I remember that open is always the same, but I think that, uh... So, this last one, right? Yeah. That one is empty. How dare you? I guess we should continue on. Hey, it's our culprit. Lovely owl. Just wants to... I don't know. He's fast asleep. Let's open him. That sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> Although I've never tried it. I do know you get a weird like. Oh, you screwed up. I can't up. even get owls to respond to my drafts. Something weird over here. Ouch. Oh. Uh. Whoops. Ah, <sighs> Bob and Threadbear, you've doomed another civilization. Just think of the ecosystem. Uh, but now he should be comfy in his hidey hole. As is. I think I don't think I ever want to hear. C D D C. So this one now. is a palindrome, which means it doesn't have like a reverse order. Let's try it on this. Also, all the holes are full now. You know, phrasing. Ooh, no good. I guess that draft doesn't apply to holes. That that's some wording. Actually, we should probably I don't even know if I learned of this as a kid, and I feel like kind of dumb because it's like, it feels free. I don't know. Let's just Destiny look at grave. Shall draw the lightning down from heaven, roll its thunder far across the sea, to where I wait upon the shore of wonder, on the day the sky is opened and the tree is split asunder. I gotta say, I don't think we have anything. Need help to point at something first. All right, she could get the day the sky is opened. Hmm. If only we had a sky to observe and point at, and then a spell to open things. Oh well, let's continue on doing other things. It's, yeah, it's it feels heavy-handed now, but as a kid, I think I was just either I learned from my brother or my dad who got us into these games just kind of uh, just keep throwing yourself at, at puzzles and eventually they'll work I suppose we could always try using our new palindrome on this no dice that must not be the right draft do you have this darkness wonderful I can't see a thing. Now I'm being facetious, but this was kind of a uh, thing I did learn just for re-recording or checking out the things. Getting it record ready. We did it. There's no darkness, I guess. But there's a loom here. D. Okay. Now it's time to see, experiment, which one does what. It's kind of the name of the game, you just experiment and see what happens. I don't think I spun that right. Okay. What if we do this backwards? Now we turned our gold into just straw. Maybe I should spin this back. Yeah, it's fine. Which means we can do the reverse on the straw. It's a little finicky about multi taps on the same thing. Now we're rich. I've already spun all that. Don't tell me what I've done and can't do. It's probably why when he just saw the gold, he's just like, man, it's just a fucking mess over here. So, gold. 
to straw. Some of these, you know, like open are kind of vague and very um, neat to your interpretation. And the other ones are uh, a little bit less. <laughs> Just like, turn gold into straw. At some point, this will help us. Maybe even just once, but it's still like a neat, this entire setting is cool and unique, especially for the time it came out. All right. We have a sky. It's dawn. It is, it is dawn. So we should open the sky, which is kind of funny, because it's kind of where Maelstrom Tear came from. Rather, it was Maelstrom Tear, like a tear in the fabric of reality. Uh, and, uh, whoops. Maybe we weren't supposed to do that. Well, this has been uh, a very short Let's Play. Uh, thanks thanks for enjoying Loom. I, I said there weren't game overs, and I must have forgotten that part where, you know, we tried to mess with reality and got murdered for it. And at least we made ourselves a lovely funeral pyre immediately. So, uh, yeah, that was nice. No, oh, wait, no, we're still alive. Dang it. <laughs> now, but this is probably a good place to stop for this episode. Uh, hey, if you enjoyed it, uh, consider leaving a like. And I will definitely give the series, like, <laughs> dang it, Binary Domain has ruined my perception of wanting to finish a series, especially one with an actual um, campaign kind of thing, unlike Isaac, which can just kind of run forever. But man, I want to make rest sure that I do this game justice and complete it. Uh, so if you want to see that about every day, consider subscribing because I'll be doing this as much as I can un until I keel over. Granted, that's pretty soon, but nonetheless, I'm Maelstrom Tier. I will see you next time.